Our show is a primetime newscast on Al Jazeera America, and our mission is really to provide uh, unbiased, in-depth journalism to our audience. It's a pretty simple idea, uh, radical, some might say. Over the last few years, cable news especially, uh, has become much more uh, parochial. It's been much more about the United States. You know, they cover the shouting matches, the political the three ring circuses that are going on. We're reporting on stories that are getting very little coverage, underreported, and we're getting an awful lot of stories on people who really don't have much of a voice in ordinary television news. This is a collaboration. It's not my show, it's our show. It's our program, it's our newscast. We're going to have a live tease out of Seattle on the minimum wage. Um, is that Alan? Yeah, that's Alan. This was a bank. It was a bank, and uh, they took the space and magically converted it uh, in no time at all. Though this is temporary and it feels cramped and small, I actually think this is a tremendous advantage for us because it's about building a culture. Didn't I tell you we're going to love it? It looks great. Shows? It looks great, man. You. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> we have a, a number of very talented journalists who spent a lot of time at other places. Many of them, most of them, came here because they want to do news, because they want to cover international news, because they want to do serious news, because they're tired of covering stories like Miley Cyrus and uh, Justin Bieber. I've done more reporting in the last five months at Al Jazeera than I did in five years at MSNBC. It's what you dream of being able to do. Now, it comes with it, challenges. Every day we face new challenges. But, oh, hey, we got to figure out how to do that. But it's really fun because guess what? We get to figure out how to do that. So we want to play off Hegel's comments, right? Exactly. Yeah. I went from national news to local and I wanted to change, wanted to get into more international issues, and that's definitely something I've gotten while being here. When a big story is happening, or, or developments in a big story are happening, like today in the, in the Ukraine, you, can, you literally can feel it in the newsroom. You, the hairs on your arms go up because you know something is going on. We have 12 bureaus in the United States, 70 bureaus around the world. So the ability to go to somebody in Se Sebastopol, somebody in Zimperopol, somebody else in Paris, and bring all those perspectives to the story, I, you know, it, it just deepens the understanding of what's going on. At Al Jazeera America, we've been allowed the freedom to do the stories that we believe need to be done, the stories that aren't being done around the world. And, and there is a great deal of freedom in that and a great deal of opportunity. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Al Jazeera America. I'm John Siegenthaler in New York.